Hey there, hopefully the wind won't make this too bad to be able to hear. I need to get a wind, figure out some sort of wind guard for this thing. Um, but, uh, Bering, whom I'm subscribed to, made a video against uh, some uh, turquoise-haired feminist. And he's talking about, you know, freedom of speech. And is claiming that the person that he's making the video against is against freedom of speech. Well, I didn't hear her say anything that suggested that people should go to jail or should be fined or should be thrown in prison because they stated an opinion. I don't recall anything like that coming from her mouth. I do recall her talking about her, her sister being bullied at a college. Now colleges get to have codes of conduct. Um, public schools get to have codes of conduct. Um, this is allowed, this is an acceptable thing, just like websites get to have codes of conduct. These websites don't get to fine you for saying something they don't think you like. They do have the right to kick you off. Kick you off the website, kick you out of the college. Public schools, K through 12, get to have codes of conduct and they get to kick you out of the school if you don't follow them. This is standard, this is not some new idea. So, the idea of supporting a school, a website, a company, having a code of conduct is not someone supporting the idea of getting rid of our freedom of speech. The only way that that would be the case is if they were suggesting that uh, someone should be fined or thrown in prison or thrown in jail for saying something. That's what freedom of speech is about. If you're on a website, um, yeah, you don't get to dictate what the code of conduct is unless it's your website. If you are running a website, fine. You can have whatever code of conduct you want on it. Let's take political forums, for instance, though, okay? Which type of forum has reasonable discussion on it? Where, you know, subjects get talked about thoroughly and decently. Well, they're the forums that are moderated. And the ones that aren't moderated just turn into a shitstorm of insults and bullying. So let's take uh, political wrinkles. It's a forum I go to occasionally. I like it. And it is, it has more right-wingers on it than left-wingers, but it's still moderated. Good conversations happen there. Now let's take a forum that its original owners had it moderated and someone wanted to buy it out and make it not so moderated, especially, particularly in the no-holds-barred area. It's a giant shitstorm. Uh, liberalforum.org is the name of it. Go ahead and check it out. Go to the No Holes Barred section and see how lovely the conversations are there. So, you know, codes of conduct help websites. They help schools. They help universities. They help community colleges. They help. They're a good thing. So again, if you want to run your own website, you can have whatever code of conduct you want. But you don't get to dictate other people's code of conduct, other companies' code of conduct. You don't get to dictate the code of conduct at a college, university, community college, a public school. You don't get to dictate those codes of conduct. They can kick you right out. 
if you break their code of conduct. That's just how it is. That is not a violation of your free speech. Now, it seems that people like Bering have this idea that you should be able to have the no-holds-barred thing anywhere you go, and that there should be no code of conduct anywhere. And that, you know, in public schools, you know, uh, there's, Christians should be able to bully gay people incessantly until they commit suicide, and then if that person commits suicide, well, I guess they were just weak and pathetic. Because anything else would be a violation of free speech, right? No. No, it's not. You know, you're on a website, and if you can't... If you can't argue against what someone is saying without throwing out insults like, Oh, you stupid fat cow, you'll never, you'll never amount to anything, you're just pathetic, da 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 da. If you can't actually say anything against someone's actual position, and all you want to do is push forth that sort of thing, or you have to inject that sort of thing in your arguments, you shouldn't expect to be listened to. You shouldn't expect to have your comment kept. And you shouldn't expect to not be blocked. And if they block you, it is not a violation of your free speech. Someone can run their channel how they want. And that is not a violation of your free speech. And for you to claim such makes you look like a fucking idiot. Are you a fucking idiot, Bering? I like some of your content. But when you go into subjects like this, you look like a damn fool.